the allure of the fairways of the valley courses is their proximity to one another. Talk about convenient. After finishing 18 championship holes at Apple Mountain, our caravan had to travel less than 10 minutes to our next destination, beautiful Sawmill Golf Club. What would a golfer most notice right off the bat when he comes to Sawmill versus having maybe just left Apple Mountain? The area is a little bit different. The uh, topography is a little bit different here. We have a little more of a, some forested areas like where, where we are right now with uh, some pine trees and some wetlands. And uh, that, that accounts for about uh, a third of the golf course. So when you look out on the golf course, there's some similarities as far as the, the, uh, the way everything was contoured and framed with, uh, with a lot of heavy earth moving. But really we have three distinct areas on the golf course that, uh, that make up uh, the entire 18 holes. What are those three? Actually the holes uh, three, four, and eight um, are along a creek side area and uh, kind of have their own look and feel to them. The, the wooded holes back here, um, 11 through 14 and holes five and six, have this kind of feel. Uh, heavily wooded with wetlands, uh, some target golf, and then a real good finish 15 through 18 where the golf course is, uh, is a little more of a link style, it's pretty wide open. It's a place where a lot of people say, geez, after I got done playing in the woods there, it's nice to take a breather and be able to take a full swing at it from here on out. One of the uh, best parts about these man on the street moments is that sometimes they come in full uniform. Jerry is already in his Sawmill Golf Club shirt and uh, has just made a pretty nice up and down par. How's your round going so far? Um, even par. We started on the back, uh, 10, 11, and this is 12, so got a lot of holes to go, but uh, even par so far. What is special about this place to you? It's just a wonderful place to play. It's like being up north, I and mean, we're not, you know, we're not up north. You know, I live uh, 10 minutes away. What is the toughest hole out here for you? The toughest hole out here is uh, one through 18. No, actually, <laughs> actually, uh, probably uh, number five. It's our number one, uh, number two or number three handicap hole, but and I would say number seven. Uh, it's 447 yard par four. I play it as a par five. You know, if I make a four, I feel like I got a birdie. So it's a, it's and that's usually improvement. And that's a, that's a, probably the toughest hole out here. So. The uh, beautiful pine trees behind us make us feel like we're an hour and a half or so farther north than we actually are here at the sawmill, but uh, this is a special place to you as well here in the Saginaw area, isn't it? It, it certainly is. I, I've been on here three or four years now and it's, uh, it's, just, it's just a gorgeous place, just gorgeous. Now the folks that are watching this and considering maybe their first visit ever to sawmill, they've already heard us talk a bit about course strategy and playing it smart and Sometimes the driver's not the right the right choice. How long did it take you to figure all of that out? It, it it took a it took about a year to learn to lay up on a on a few shots, because there's there's some trouble and, and it makes you think. Now I understand you're two down through three holes. Are you <laughs> at all concerned about that open? No, I'm not concerned. I, I know who, who I'm playing with. He'll he'll cave in eventually. Walk us through some of the challenges as you take us sort of on a tour of the course. Hit some of the highlight holes one through eighteen. You know, I think right off, right off the bat, I think the first hole is pretty simple. Second hole, uh, dependent upon tee placement. Now, if you play the black tees on this golf course, you, you're going to play 18 holes that uh, require some length and require uh, good shot making all the way around. But if you play the blue or white tees, the first hole is going to be an easy start. Second hole is a, a pretty straightforward par three with a little bit of trouble. Three and four, uh, that creek side area where you've got a little bit, uh, you have to cross the creek on one of the holes. And then really five, you get into the woods, you have to play some target golf. Seven's a big par four, about 450. And then uh, eight, nine, par three, par five. Uh, it just kind of, the golf course kind of takes you uh, back and forth and, and uh, gives you some, some good looks, some open looks, some tight looks, uh, and a nice, uh, nice variety of holes. Then on the back nine, it tends a, a pretty wide open driving hole. And then when you get, to, uh, get up to the green, it gets pretty tight until you get to 14 green. Then it opens up again. A lot of people, um when they think about a golf trip, they think I've got to go much farther north. Our point in being here and in featuring the fairways of the valley is to point out that you don't. You can stop right here. Your trip can be a whole lot shorter. Between Apple, Sawmill, and the Fortress, there are places to stay, eat, and play. What makes the group of courses so special as a destination? You've got three uh, different golf courses that are in good shape and where all three of us are interested in the service aspect to our customers. So what we're trying to do is we're trying to put our best foot forward with a well-conditioned golf course. The variety of the three courses are uh, very different, obviously, with the Fortress, where they have um, you know, more of a link-style course, and Apple Mountain, which is more of like a parkland-type course, and our, co our course is kind of a, a happy medium, I guess, so to speak. 
It, it's really, a, it's, I think the hospitality in Saginaw is great. I think it surprises people, what, what we have, the quality of life we have to offer here with, uh, with what's in Frankenmuth and the zoo and the Japanese gardens and you know, the downtown area, everything's kind of coming back. So there's a little more to Saginaw than, than what meets the eye or maybe what uh, traditionally the perception of Saginaw. But we also have something that is a uh, budget standpoint that appeals to everyone. Talk about the design of this course, uh, who did it and how old the course is, a little bit of the history of the sawmill. Well, 1992 we started buying property. We hired John Sanford to start doing some original routing plans. We came up with, uh, with a design we liked after about three different designs and, and routings. By 1995 we started construction. We had the golf course open in 1997. Really, as far as uh, you know, picking a designer and going with John, is we just liked the way he thought about things, his strategy. He was a good player himself, and uh, he just had a lot of uh, good ideas, and he seemed to be really easy to work with, and that, that proved to be true. Course design these days is, is such a challenge because the game, the players are getting longer, and the game's changing with technology and all that. Um, how has this course stood the test of a little bit of time in the last seven years or so? You know, it's interesting because when we were just starting to build the course, we used to um, play a little bit of uh, dirt golf and we'd come out really? here and we'd hit some shots and we'd say well what's you know what's it going to play like here I know at the time I was playing with a uh, like a burner plus driver and that driver probably doesn't is probably 40 yards shorter than the driver I'm playing today so there's uh, the technology has changed uh, after somebody finishes up here if they're doing the fairways of the valley tour let's say next stop is the fortress compare and contrast uh, the, the two courses, the sawmill and the fortress. I've always thought that the fortress is the standard um, for course conditions. When you play the fortress, you can play a golf course that is maybe one of the best conditioned golf course, if not the best conditioned public course in, in Michigan. So that's a standard that we try to um, live up to. So they set the, the bar pretty high. And uh, so if, if you're going to the fortress from here, you're gonna find a golf course that's in great shape. If you go over to Apple Mountain, you're going to find Apple Mountain in, in fantastic shape as well. Um, I, I say Fortress as a standard because they've been here longer than we have. And, uh, you know, they're, the, they're big brother to us in Apple Mountain. 